Closed gyms affecting commercial real estate with workouts on hold. The market really feeling the pinch. Christina Parks and Evelis is in Midtown, uh, which is cl actually closed, a closed part of Manhattan. And obviously, gyms, we don't know when they're going to come back here in New York, Christina. Well, you're right, Cheryl. Gyms are a high contact business. For those that are lucky to reopen now, they're only opening at a fraction of the capacity. But others aren't so lucky. So you pointed out, I'm standing in front of 24 hour fitness. This is one of 100 locations that are permanently going to close because the company filed for bankruptcy in June. The closure of gyms could have a domino effect and weigh very negatively on commercial real estate property. Before the pandemic, a lot of businesses were downsizing or moving online. So you had commercial real estate landlords that were seeking out fitness centers as safe havens and they became anchor tenants in a lot of these shopping malls to draw traffic. But unfortunately, it's been a struggle post pand or during the pandemic for a lot of gyms. Gold Gym filed for bankruptcy back in May, even town Sports International is considering bankruptcy, and this could be a major problem for landlords. Listen in. And when you're talking about mass gyms, discount gyms, they have razor thin margins, and that all depends on the lease and the amount of the lease. If the if the leases go up and they can't afford it, then they go out of business. And of course, um, because there's so many of them that there, it's going to be a survival of the fitness when it comes to big mass uh, gyms. Delinquency.